Hi. Could you tell us what your name is? <laughs> Hi, could you tell us what your name is? My name is Cindy. And why are we here today? We're here today because we're introducing my new office. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? This is Boom Boom Tisk and I'm here with Cindy, my lovely lady. And we are introducing you our new addition to the family. You might be wondering what the hell is that? Well, it's a G20 conversion van, Chevy. And it is a 93, I believe. And taking a look here on the inside. As you can see, it is fully gutted. And she can stand all the way. Looks like the top right here, it's been modified with some fiberglass to be taller. And besides that though, there is just about nothing left of a conversion van in this thing. So this is gonna be her new office. As you guys might know, she likes to sell some clothes online and what better way than to get everybody to check it out in a nice fun looking and welcoming looking van like this one so we're gonna have to think of a name for it and we're also gonna have some fun with it because we pulled this out of the way right here it's got a V8 small block Chevy I'm not sure yet if it's a 305 or a 350 but um, it definitely moves so yeah we're gonna definitely do something with this but besides that steps is gonna be to keep it pretty simple clean it up a bit go through make sure all the maintenance is uh, up to date on there um, so far the motor looks pretty healthy I noticed a little bit of leaking on a distributor cap here and there and but besides that, the valve covers look pretty clean and the exhaust manifolds all look pretty good on there. Everything sounds good. Everything shifts good while we're driving it. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So stay tuned and... Let's go for a little ride.
but it's all good because you can't prepare. Got a compressor right here. Of course, the uh, load wrench. That. Next thing. Or he's got to come prepared, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you'd be out here. It'd be bad. It'd be lonely. Don't do that. So, we tried to hit up our buddy to see if he can hook us up with a spare tire since he's my only Chevy friend. But it turns out the hub is too small on that wheel. The hub was too small on our spare, so we got to hit up our, uh, our trailer. You know, the same guy who trailered the race car to the track. So, this is starting to get kind of a familiar sight, huh? But it's all good be continued. All right guys, so the time is now 12.23. The van is now secure. We are here at a nearby Costco. And since it's a Sunday, this looks like this will be the only spot that we can get some uh, tires put on or, or one tire put on to replace our flat. So we'll be here first thing in the morning sharp. And then it'll be all good, but for now, it's time to go home. All right guys, so we made it back to the van. It is now 9.45 in the morning and we are waiting for the tire place to open up. And in the meantime, we're gonna start brainstorming some ideas and we gotta head, throw these in there, so. All right, this is uh, how to install your fuzzy dice in your 1993 Chevy G20 van, okay? Take the dice, hand for the mirror. Uh, look at that. Nailed it. Hey, what up, YouTube? <laughs> Okay, so today we're going through the van. We got some help right over there. Should be a familiar face if you guys have been following the channel. Um, right now, what we've been doing is just, just trying to clean it up. But the biggest thing we've done is we're trying to remove all the conversion van components and wiring. As of right now, this is what we have removed. All of that. So. It's definitely cleaned up the interior quite a bit. Hoping everything still works, the tail lights, but um, so far we just, uh, we're just trying to follow everything that's going on top. 
it looks like everything that's on top of the van was all the conversion van related components and under the hood if you look uh, there's a box right here it says this is a fuse box right here that's been disconnected from the battery and this cap was on it and it says conversion fuses so hopefully <laughs> look at that nintendo yeah so um Hopefully that's all we needed to do is just make sure we disconnected anything that was connected to that fuse box. There's also other stuff in here. Uh, it looks like it had an alarm at one point, but yeah, it just feels really good to get in there and clean this thing all up. I mean, I could only imagine how much lighter it is already just with uh, removing all the wires. So we'll be able to go faster too. <laughs> We're gonna keep at it, so it's starting to already kind of come together. Good job. <laughs> More for the pile. More to the pile. Raccoon. Raccoon. All right, so we are taking a break. Forward. Um, made some progress on the van so far. Um, got it all cleaned up. Most of the wires are out. Uh, besides that, um, maybe not too much more to do. Got to figure out what that is over there in the corner. And finish up some curtains. Um, but yeah, this is what all came out. Pretty good amount of stuff, but in the meantime, I'm gonna take a little break and enjoy this guy right here. The next thing to do here will be um, having to put some windows on, as you can see. Don't got any. So we have some plexiglass here from Home Depot, and um, we're just gonna do a pretty basic job. Keep it really simple, but probably just nail it in and call it a day. But besides that, should be it. If you're Asian, you know what's up with this right here. Hey, you know those get down. Or you probably got whooped by one, either way. <laughs> All right, Cindy is going to do a professional tint job in our plexiglass windows before we put them on. Obviously, she's equipped. <laughs> Professional window install. You too could do this at home. This could be you. Ready? Okay. Let's make sure this thing starts up first though, before we do anything else, since we just ripped out a bunch of wires and I have no idea what they're for. So, fingers crossed. Let's hear it. Let's you guys hear it. ready? Alright. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, so that was a failed attempt, but we're going to go ahead and see if this works. I may have done a thing and uh, disconnected this. And I don't know, those plugs right there kind of tell me they might be important. So let's go see. It's all plugged in now. This 
alive. <laughs> oh man. Had you, had you, had you. See, I had it all figured out though. See, I knew, I knew, because I'm a professional. Got him! <laughs> man, start it up. Start it right up. Lights work. Turn signals, check those, they work. Brake lights are working. So, looks like we didn't take anything out that we weren't supposed to take out. Wow. Well, maybe this corner light over here, but or maybe there's a bulb out. But anyways, it's a good time. So. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Man and Johnny. Again, thanks for coming through, helping us out. Of course, uh, helping hand is always nice when starting on a big project like this one. And that's what makes it fun, you know, when we could all come together and put some work in it. So, thanks for rolling through. And of course, the mad brain behind the whole thing. But besides that, 